Rob and Slim Show. Hey guys, it's Isaac Thorne. Isaac, Isaac. Thorne, how are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good, Very good. good, sir. What is the haps? What have you been working on, Isaac? Are you uh, currently working on the book that is part of the Gordon Place like universe? I am. I'm. I'm working on my second novel. Um, it's the follow up to the Gordon Place, but it's it's a related setting, but a completely unrelated time and unrelated set of characters. And uh, I I've been working on this thing for um, over a year now, and with uh, with the pandemic and everything that that came after that um being glued to the news all the time it's been kind of slow going you know okay. that's why i didn't know i didn't know like if it was better uh, to write uh, with the pandemic or uh, what 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 was going on i honestly i thought it would be yeah. i when when the pandemic first hit and everybody went you know lockdown remote work i was like well this is a good thing i'm not going to be you know driving to work for an hour every day i can i can get some more writing time in but <laughs> it didn't work out that way <laughs> you got to you got to be in a certain kind of mental state to yeah. get into that world you know and and it it just would not happened during the the uh during the time i had hoped it would yeah so um, ah, gotcha gotcha well you're in <laughs> luck though isaac i don't know if you want to work any of these into the story or maybe work on a little side project but i got some ideas for you Ooh. in my oh, you got you got some more ideas for me? Yeah, I figured it's been a minute, so I figured I'd cook up some more. Yeah, yeah I probably got a couple, too. Some more ideas for, awesome. for horror stuff. I got uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Death, Ooh. which is about a demonic rain cloud possessed by a weatherman who died <laughs> in a horrible sexual accident when his wife caught him cheating with his mistress and she killed him. But she also... Uh, uh, he invokes Satan uh, and he has to... Uh, he has to kill cheating husbands. <laughs> that's like, actually I really like, good. That's like, yeah, I'm drunk, I, but that's really good. <laughs> like, that's like, like creep that show. One. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. Don't that, worry. That, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the genre that is too. That, that is, uh, that is a subgenre of horror called bizarro. It would I fit like it. right in with stuff like the haunted <laughs> vagina and, uh, oh. <laughs> and stuff like Danger Slater writes, like, uh, I will rot without you, and he digs a hole and stuff like that. Oh, now, man, I didn't think of the haunted vagina. That sounds like <laughs> a real cash cow. Fuck. Yo, All can right. I do one I real not... quick? Yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead, Driz. Yeah, so I got this one where there's this famous internet rapper, and he releases this awesome album, and it just bombs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so biography there <laughs> is what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I got this one too, if, if this is any good. I got Indian burial ground babies. Uh, daycare center built on an ancient burial ground and all the kids get possessed and scalp all the, the people that work there. But then it doesn't stop there. It goes, they, they scalp their parents, they scalp the teachers. It goes the, into their whole lives. Hmm. <laughs> it follows yeah, them. I, don't, I don't know about that one <laughs> that's no bueno well uh, I also had Satan's toilet bowl mm -hmm. where a warlock summons Lucifer while taking a shit but uh, then he's attached to the toilet bowl and then demons come to, to visit Satan but they all laugh at him because now he's just eating shit for the rest of his days in the uh, rest Wait, of his so eternity so Satan is permanently attached to the toilet bowl? Yes. Uh, yes. Well, but wait, is the warlock is right? stuck in the toilet bowl and Satan... Oh, no, the warlock goes out. He goes oh, back to work. Okay. He goes so out just, with his buddies. And, so and just Satan is Satan's stuck. Satan's just stuck as a toilet bowl. Like, he bowl. can't even come out of the water. Like, he's no. just stuck in the water. Like, he's his mouth is the, the toilet seat. And it's, <laughs> it's gross. And his buddies are like, Satan. ah, fucking Satan. <laughs> Who are you now? 
Well, uh, that was going to be my next question. Do people still use the toilet bowl, or or does Satan prevent the use of the toilet bowl? What are the no, rules? No, they, they're that shitting in his now. mouth. They're pissing his mouth. It's 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 yeah. It's business for as usual. It's open season on Satan's mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that could work. I, I could see that one working. Yeah. Yo, I got another. So I got this other one about this famous internet rapper who's oh. really hot and sexy and has all these fucking great albums out and nobody wants to suck his dick. You guys dropped out on me there. Ah, good. Yeah, you're, you're lucky over there, Isaac. Thank God for glitchiness. glitchiness. Oh. I, I heard hot and sexy, and I heard some ice clink. And Yo, that okay, was okay, if you're going to make me say it again. No. It's about this hot and sexy rapper who has these all these amazing fucking so songs and stuff, but he can never get his dick sucked. Yeah. Uh, Autobiography. So another biography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn. Let's get him out of here. Biography part two. <laughs> Isaac, have you watched any of the new Walking Deads? I have. I have. And I got to say, I mean, I've, I've heard people dumping on them, but I've, I really like the ones that, that they've, uh, the stories they've come up with for the during, covid when they had the restrictions on the filming i i like the the you know kind of single character stories they that have come out of I, that yeah i, I like where it could have went I, I love two of the five. Oh, the first one is what i expected from the first episode of every season like it's just everybody you know getting back together and, and dealing with each other so that was like the typical first episode for me but all the carol and daryl ones i was rough with but i loved the gabe and uh Aaron episode, and I love the Negan, uh, the Here's Negan episode. They were so good. The Here's, the last two episodes were my favorites. The, uh, um, I think they were the last two. I love the Princess episode where she's in the, the train oh, car. Yes, I forgot about that too. Yes, the, the train car ones. Yes, and that's yeah. what I'd been dying to see. I've been dying to see since the end of the the last season was more princess and oh my god that episode was great where like you thought Ezekiel beat that guy but then it just yeah she just blacked out and did it herself and Ezekiel was never there that was yeah. a great episode too it, that was an awesome mind fuck episode yes. and they they give you they give you hints throughout you know about what's really going on and you're you're not sure at first if Ezekiel is really there or if it's if it's her imagining him and yeah. it, it, I thought it was fantastic she is batch of crazy in all the right ways I love her yeah I love her how uh yeah. in the comic slim how was princess? She was awesome in the comics. Uh, it, very weird. I think that um, Robert Kirkman kind of ended it short. I think he got to a point where he was just like, eh, I don't want to write anymore, so I'm just going to like conclude this story. But he kind of like built up Princess, and then we never really saw her whole arc, I felt. That's what I hope they don't do with the series, because yeah. I know the show's coming to an end, and I really hope, I really hope the Princess is going to be just uh, amazing. Yeah. She's uh, And awesome. they've got a... They've got a lot of loose ends to tie up, too. I mean, Rick and Michonne are still out there somewhere. Yes. And the Rick movies uh, apparently, you know, have never materialized <laughs> right. beyond announcements. So. That's what I was wondering. Are, the, are those still in the works? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So hopefully, yeah, like you said, they don't take the easy way out and just follow the comic because the comic literally he was just kind of like, all right, I'm done writing this. And I, he jumps like 10 years in the future. And like, this is oh, what happens after the series. Because I kind of like, like felt like with this with these last five episodes, like I feel like there should have been more princess and there wasn't. Yeah, so I'm like hoping yeah. like, I, I thought that very thing. Like, I hope they're just not going to not go she, where they she did like character. a cool thing in the comics where she beat the shit out of a lot of commonwealth so soldiers because she didn't agree with whatever they were doing and then like it just was like all right yeah we're just gonna end this chapter 10 and, years uh, later 10 years later Damn. Boom. <laughs> this is the world rick's awesome <laughs> boom <laughs> wow. yeah and in her episode in her episode she actually just just destroys 
the uh, uh, I guess it is a Commonwealth soldier, the yeah. stormtrooper guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the train car, but but in her mind, it's Ezekiel doing it. <laughs> okay. And, uh, it, yeah, so it, that kind of happens scene. in the comic. I think in the comic, though, it's like literally, like she sees them as what they are and just doesn't agree with whatever they're trying to push on her. So she just beats the shit out of and like you five of them. The best <laughs> about that episode was in the beginning when it showed them getting uh, captured. You don't think she's that bad because she tried to punch one of them. And I don't think the punch really connected. So you don't think she's actually as badass as she ended up being. Because, like I said, yeah. she went to punch him. I think the punch landed in his shoulder and it was just not a big deal. So, yeah. like And then you kind of find out, yeah, no, she almost killed this guy with her fists. So. And yeah. they managed to work in this whole uh, like childhood trauma yes. backstory just through voices in her head, too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I also uh, didn't know, and I, 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 do either of you guys know, are there new dates for Rick and Morty? Because I, I yes, heard them. there are. I heard them saying that it should be soon. I forget the fucking date, but there is new dates for Rick and Morty. Cool. He June also... 20th. June okay. 20th. Thank I you, believe. dude. Awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. I've been dying for some more. I did read an article that said they were like... Uh, I, I guess doing better than with the with the uh, pandemic. So like, you know, they all they use are voices, so they're all able right. to do it. So cool! I can't wait! I can't wait for that! And I want more. Uh, want more Stranger Things. Yeah, I'm missing Stranger Things. They're all, all the kids are going to be grown up by the time. We get you know what? Stranger I things, saw. Uh, I just two nights ago. I saw Gaten. Uh. And he still looks young, so I'm like, all right, cool, cool. <laughs> um, I did, I because the first time I, I got, I talked to him and I get, I got the selfie. I gave him one of our cards, and I was like, dude, we're an adult show, so if you don't yeah. want to do an interview, it's all good. So uh, I saw him the other day, and I told him we interviewed uh, Hunter Flanagan a few years ago, uh, or, or last season, and he, we we mentioned that he looked like him, and he told us he was a double. And I told him, I'm like, we interviewed a guy that was one of your doubles, and he was just, <laughs> and he remembered him. He said, "What was his name?" I said, "Hunter uh, Flanagan." And he's like, "Oh yeah, he was a he was a fun kid." So I thought that was cool. So you saw him recently? Nice. Yeah, just two days ago, I saw Gaten, and I was just like, "Hey, Gaten, how you doing?" I was like, and I and I told him, and he must have remembered because I gave oh, him cool. one of the cards, and uh, I mentioned him that we talked to the, the, his double, and he, then he was like, "What was his name?" And I told him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I remember Hunter." Did he did he say like why he couldn't do our show, or he didn't really? No. I just figure it's because yeah, we're, we're us. kind of, and he's a kid. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so I, I, I never like, I never uh, expected. You know, I, I never get my hopes up and all. So I, I just figured it's probably because we're Robin Slim, and yeah, I, I totally so, get that. So, do they shoot the show in Jersey, or does he just happen to live there? I don't think it's here at all. No, I think he just lives in like where we're recording is where he's from. Oh, yeah, like, right around. We're, here. we're oh, recording. Wow. We're recording in Tucker, in New Jersey. Yeah, I went to the school that he goes to yeah. or went to. I don't know. If I you think guys he were goes at like point. to Texas to to film. I think yeah. I think that's what I read. Wow. But also, one of my coworkers told me that he does a, a practical, like, a, a prank show now. And her son loves the prank show that he that he does. So <laughs> That's cool. I heard about the prank show. I haven't seen any episodes of it. I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, I've heard about the prank show. I wanted to ask you too, Isaac, and I appreciate I love that you have uh, always listen to our show as well. Uh, as a listener, do you, uh, do you like the, the interviews as a separate show? I actually do like the interviews as a separate cool. show because uh, getting like one full four hour show, you know, three to four hour show at once. Yeah. Um, it's it, it makes it a little difficult to listen to the, the whole thing. But you guys have been, you know, cutting it in into like hour and a half sections and i listen to podcasts on double speed anyway so so that <laughs> that that works out really well for me i've i've actually been enjoying it i like the intro cool. to the uh, the interviews too uh, <laughs> i love that uh, what about politics <laughs> politics sports, am, I right? am i right yeah sports, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> like, um yeah no and i thought i thought the same thing like you first said it does break it down into yeah. uh better times and i kind of like I, I remember years ago i'd mentioned like wanting the interviews separate as a show and i do feel yeah. it works better because like not everybody wants too many rapes but you know <laughs> it, 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 
everybody can listen to an interview. It, it's cool right, that we're yeah. almost producing like two different shows, two different genres of yeah. shows, and that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. You have the the R the the R segment up front and the PG thirteen segment on the back. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And yeah. I, I didn't. I was gonna ask what have been some of your favorite episodes, uh, interviews this uh, uh, season. Oh, I I gotta say I uh, I had trouble getting through the uh, I can't remember if it was the first interview or not last week. Jesse, Jesse Lee Peterson, Peterson. That was the first one. <laughs> yeah, yes! yeah, yeah. I almost fast forwarded through that one. Is he just, <laughs> I like the he, one after after him. Oh, though, and I, Mona. I can't remember Mona. her name. That was Mona. Mona. I love Mona. He's, is that Jesse Lee is something else, <sighs> yes. huh? Yeah, he's yeah. a rough one. Yeah, that is, that was something else. <laughs> I just like who who talks like this. Uh, we're on uh, ipmnation.com, and the guy that runs that, Matt Connerton, randomly messaged me last week, and he's just like, "I love how you guys handled that. Uh, I'm proud of you guys." <laughs> and he just said how we just yeah. spoke truth, and yeah, and, and, yeah. and the guy was just out of his mind. I, I thought we did a good job where we weren't just like completely making fun of him and we had more of a serious right. interview with him yeah and uh but his yeah no, just... I, I agree i thought you guys did i thought i thought you handled it uh, i mean as professionally as any any broadcast radio show would would have handled something like that you know yeah i thought you did a good job. thank you dude thank you yeah thank it's, you. it's hard some of us especially being a comedy show but yeah i'm like i just i really want to debate this guy try to get in his head and part of me felt like I don't a hundred percent know if he believes the shit or if he's right. just doing it for, for you a, know, a gimmick. Or, yeah. Or with yeah, because there there were times when it felt like a bit. Yes. Uh, yeah. So we didn't we didn't include it. I cut it out, but it took him about a couple of minutes to get ready. Like so, when we answered the call, it was his producer. Yeah. Who was like, oh well, you gotta give Jesse a minute to get ready, and they got this whole studio in front of us, and we got the uh, mics muted, and we're waiting like probably two or three minutes for this yeah. guy to set down. It felt to me uh, like just, a power play. Yeah. Like, it, you're going to wait for yeah. him. Like as it, it was very weird and awkward on how it went down, and I, I told Rob later, Rob said it was a power play, and I was like, it feels like he's getting paid to be this character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was a, a rough one, though, and uh, I, 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 I'm also like... I never expected him to get back, like, to, to get him. Like, I booked, I, I sent the email and heard back, like, a few days later that he would do it, so. Wow. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, you guys get some incredible guests. Thank you, thank dude. You. Including you. Guys, whatever. Including you. Yeah. You were the best. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I miss Steve Coulter, though. We haven't heard oh, from Steve. I know. Anymore. He's coming on next week. Ooh. He's, uh, when, awesome. I, when I last uh, messaged him... Um, he told me it would have to be in April because he was working on a big project, and I, I'm not allowed to mention. Is that, that my birthday? Is he coming on next, next week? week? Next week, my birthday is April 26th, so he's no, he's a no, couple days before that. Your birthday that. does no. We're not my doing anything. For your birthday. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be on the 21st. <laughs> All right. Yeah, next week. I'm gonna Steve. call that my birthday show. I don't know. <laughs> tell Steve to wish me a happy birthday. I, I love Steve. I I, I I just love how he's always growing. Like he's he seemed to get yeah. bigger and bigger. And I, did you I like this Geico commercial. Yes, I like when <laughs> the, the Geico commercial is great and Slim's holding his napkin holder. Yeah, he, Steve made <laughs> us a handcrafted wooden napkin holder and it's amazing. And it has nice. changed my life. Yes. So here it is here. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, no, he's just awesome. He's awesome. Such a cool dude. Uh, that's another thing with doing the show only two weeks a month. It's like. We can't have uh, one guest on every month now because it would be like every other show. So it's 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 right. it's good and it's bad. Yeah, but, positive and negative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Things might be changing. I don't know. Some might be fired. We might. Yeah, I'm getting a new uh, position what, or something. Uh, hey, are you gonna um, fired from from your show? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, we're we're oh, only, the we're only <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be the dress. <laughs> we're only doing this because of the position I am in uh, real life. It kind of interferes yeah. with our schedule. So yeah, they were like, oh, "You're not doing. You. You're not free every week anymore, Slim." Mm. And 
That's but I just concocted a genius plot in my uh, head that might. Are you gonna kill your boss? Maybe something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe bribe her. I think I just figured something out. Bribe or bribe? Bribe. You gonna marry her? <laughs> I'm gonna marry her. Knock her up <laughs> and be like, bribe. you can't work. No, You're I just pregnant. figured. I just figured something out. Whoa, that's amazing. I figured you can so. conjure Satan to the toilet bowl. Yeah, <laughs> and get him to swallow your boss. I I was Maybe. just gonna warn against do, against doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Satan. Uh, what was I gonna ask? I think like it's it's, it, it's been a weird. I I feel like I always ask you like what what was the best in horror this year? It's been a weird year. Like twenty twenty uh, has been very yeah. strange. Twenty twenty one has been very weird. Has there been any like big horror things that have showed up? I'll tell you two. Uh, well, the new season of Creep Show is on now. Oh, it is. Which, I didn't know yeah, that. New... I've been looking every day. It must have just went live. Yeah, it. Uh, I well, the second episode aired last week, oh, so okay. the third episode, episode airs tomorrow. So there's that. But I've watched two movies that that are on on my rewatch list for and and are going to be for a while on Shutter. Uh, one of them was called Anything for Jackson. Okay. And Michael, the other, the other is called uh, Stay Out of the Fucking Attic. Ooh, I like that title. I like right. that. I'll, I'll yeah. Can you give us a, a, a like a one sentence synopsis of those? All right. Anything for Jackson is about a um, couple that uh, kidnaps a woman in order to have her birth the reincarnation of their dead grandson. Ooh, okay. I like that. And it is it is a horror comedy. Okay. And Stay Out of the Fucking Attic is about a a group of um of movers who are trying to move this guy out of out of um out of his house, but he is um there is a supernatural element to the uh, a- and a mad scientist element to the the house that um, that gets them in trouble. I don't want to give away too much of that cool. one because it'll it'll spoil it. But uh, both of them both of them are have a horror comedy element to them, and and I absolutely loved them. Nice. I was going to say, too, as far as movies goes, I haven't seen many uh, commercials or anything, but there's one called Nobody with uh, Bob Odenkirk, and he is mm-hmm. super badass. I really want to see it. Like, he, He's like a mafia guy that went straight to start a family, and years later, I guess he got tracked down, and he's just got to do, he's just got to like just totally beast out. So. I want to see that one too. I've <laughs> I've been seeing the ads for that, and yeah, it looks it looks cool. awesome. Yeah, it really does, really does. And uh, there was Negan. Negan's in a movie, uh, and I forget it. I forget. It. I should should have looked it up. I should have been prepared, but I'm not. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he's in a movie that's coming out soon. I just saw. I think last week when or or on the last um, Walking Dead, uh, there was a commercial for it. Oh, he was just there. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Where's he uh, at? Uh, I feel like some... Is it... No. Let me do Jeffrey Dean Morgan new movie. New movie, maybe? Yeah, like... Yep. New movie. Uh, I don't remember. The Flash? <laughs> yeah, The Flash. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I believe that's at The Unholy. That's at The Unholy. Oh, yeah. It looks like a more supernatural one. All right. Oh, All right. nice. So, I think I have seen an ad for that. Yeah. All right. I, you guys were talking about uh, Rick and Morty earlier, and so I, I, I brought it up where um, Justin Rowland and uh, Dan Harmon have a new series called Solar oh, Opposites. Yes, I've been wanting to check that yeah, out. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. and that, I think it's like a Hulu yeah. exclusive, but I've I've watched the trailer of it, and all the characters talking is just jo- Justin Rowland. It's like, hey, there's Rick, there's Morty. <laughs> like, it's all the same voices. <laughs> Mr. Booby <laughs> Butthole. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Isaac, it's been a blast as always, man. Thank you so much for coming on. Hey, I appreciate you having me again. I I always enjoy coming on to talk to you guys. Love and it, maybe man. next time I'll have something to read for you. That'd be awesome. <laughs> or I'll have uh, yeah. Cloudy with a Chance of Death Part Two. We don't we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. It could go either way. 
<laughs> Where can everybody find you, man? Uh, you can find me. My website is isaacthorn.com, and that is Thorn with an E. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Isaac R. Thorn. Nice. Uh, those are my socials. What does the R stand for? The R stands for Roger. Oh, oh. I was thinking of like yeah. a demonic name, but I couldn't think of any. Yo, I have one more. I had this one about a famous internet rapper. Oh, hang who, up, Isaac. <laughs> hang up. You don't. Well, no matter it. what he did, he could never get good a gold night, chain. Guys. Good night, Isaac. <laughs> we love you, brother. 